this thick boy. Hey everyone, it's Ivy G, and today I'm gonna tell you about LASIK, specifically LASIK eye surgery and getting it in Korea. So for those of you who know and are very close to my heart, especially my family, you all know that I have really horrible eyes and look at this. You can, if you don't already know, you can definitely tell how I can't even, I can't even focus on it. You can see how thick, how thick that is. Oh my god, yes, get this palette. This is like going to correct your vision 2020. No, and like honestly, I still have really bad eyes despite like how many contacts I've gone through, how many exercises I've had to go through. I've worn glasses like these since like I was in kindergarten and it's just, you know, my love for Barney and, and television really impacted my, my eyesight. But alas, I'm in Korea where they get LASIK, which is quite common. And so if you don't know what LASIK eye surgery is, so scientifically, it is a procedure, of course, where it corrects your vision. But how? How does it correct your vision? Do they scratch with your eyeballs? Do they poke them with a needle? Do they give you a pair of new eyes? Who knows? We're in the 21st century. One day we'll get robot eyes. But no. With LASIK, precise controlled removal of corneal tissue by a special laser reshapes the cornea, changing its focusing power. My eye shape is so strained and flat, I think, and it just is not working well with how signs or how the sun reflects into, or how light reflects into my eye. And like every time I've tried to fix this issue, whether it's just be through you know, different glasses or different like exercise routines. Every doctor, every optometrist has also t said to me like, dang, your eyes are so bad, ha ha ha, all right, have a good day. And there's like never a true solution as to how I can, you know, crack my vision. I'm only 26. I even had signs of early glaucoma a few years ago when I was in college. And you know, it's, it's scary, but now, things change having the option of lasik and so in korea it's quite common a lot of people get lasik here not just because like you know due to aesthetic reasons but also you know it's really affordable in the u.s lasik my got my dad got lasik for like two thousand three thousand you know an estimate per eye right it's so expensive and it's a really big privilege but here lasik averages like a, a one thousand dollars or even like around that range and actually if you get a referral for the friend to a specific clinic clinic you get an even cheaper price so actually i'm paying about nine hundred dollars for both pairs for both pairs for i mean i am four eyes for both eyes <laughs> and so that's you know that's like what a vacation's worth instead of having to go to go on a vacation, especially during COVID, I can use that to fix my vision. Maybe not completely correct, but like at least, you know, help, you know, decrease this little bad boy. If you're thinking about getting LASIK, I definitely recommend you doing the research, you know, as accessible and common it, it is to get LASIK here. It's definitely not something that you have to do, that you do overnight. Like for me, you have to, I kind of did some clinic shopping. And so for foreigners, you know, it's best to find a place that has an English speaking service. And for me, I think those tend to be a little more expensive because those seem to be in a little, you know, in more popular areas where uh, there are more foreigners. And, you know, I think they cater to um, see that their English speaking service is a little higher value. And so I went to, uh, I think I love or uh, love I Sarang. Noon Sarang, I think, something like that. And, and it was in a bigger part of Daejeon, and so it's gonna be more expensive. And initially, they told me that I couldn't do it due to my eye size. It would be too expensive because they were trying to convince me to take another route rather than LASIK, but like, you know, what is it? Inter you insert a lens in your eye, which will be there until you're 60, and then you have to change it out, and that's really expensive. But, so I was like, no, 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 just because there's this place in Daejeon and this is not the only one. There's so many other clinics out there, but of course do your research. And it helps to have a Korean speaker as a friend who is willing to help you. So uh, how I got to my clinic, there's a clinic really near my place, uh, which is gonna be useful for later on. 
Granted, they didn't really speak English there, but I think due to, you know, my, my co-teacher's commitment to me, myself, uh, she uh, helped me out, book an appointment, you know, you have to do all the tests before getting LASIK. So in order to figure out if you're eligible, you need to like run a series of different tests where they're checking your eye pressure, prescription, and all that stuff. And yeah, that takes like an hour or so, at least for me it did. Because I think my vision was so bad, they had to really triple check that I was eligible and that I can still do this um, procedure and like what they needed to do for my specific procedure so that I can get as much as I can out of this. Side, side note, my prescription is negative 12. I can't, I honestly cannot function without these. But um, anyway, going back to the procedure. So after you go through a series of tests, you book a date if you're eligible. You have to take care, good care of your eyes. Like if you're wearing contacts, you know, it's recommended at least don't wear them for at least two weeks before the procedure. Or if you have glasses, that's fine. Just keep wearing them. But you know, try not to strain your eyes too much. Try to try to keep your eyes healthy during that waiting period. And then so within that, they also gave me a little pamphlet, all in Korean, all in Korean. But luckily, my co-teacher translated it for me, so I can just like write down what I needed to know. And so these are just like a series of rules that you should do before and after the procedure, right? So like I mentioned, you should have like two weeks uh, without any contacts, you know, try not to strain your eyes too much, whether that be through like phones or like through other screens. And afterwards, the recovery period can take up to like three to four days to like a week or two, depending, you know, on the person. It's everyone's different uh, with their eyes and recovery. But apparently, with recovery, you can't really function for the first few days. Like, your eyes are so uncomfortable because of, you know, this, the procedure. It's so sensitive. They're still healing. Your eyes still have to heal. So you have to basically stay in bed for the full day, maybe full three or four days. And you can't really open your eyes or let alone do anything. So if you're thinking about getting LASIK in Korea... Or just in general, it's a good idea to have a pal or a loved one or maybe you can pay someone to like help you out there for those first few days, like through cooking, maybe through navigating. If you're not going to leave, if you're going to leave your house, hopefully you don't because it's better to for your eyes to just stay put. Um, or if you need help like putting on clothes or just like walking, it's a good idea to have someone there. And luckily, my partner is going to willingly willingly volunteer to come and help me out for the first few days so that's really good but if you don't have someone maybe you could have a game plan to like train yourself to what to see what you're gonna do for those first few days and how to survive like if you're gonna have a meal plan beforehand so it's a lot easier to navigate and just like pop it in the oven or the microwave you don't have to do a lot of prep work you know really plan for those first few days of recovery because I think what I've heard and what I've been told by the doctors is that um, it'll take a little bit of work and a little bit of help to get through those first few days. And so there's a lot more other rules like with recovery, like you can't wash your face, you can't wash your hair, put makeup on for at least a week. So if you want to wash your face, uh, they recommend using like wipes and some wet wipes, which will be an interesting journey. I'll tell you all how that goes afterwards. But yeah, it's a, it's a big process. It, it's really accessible in Korea, which is great. But again, if you're thinking about doing it, do your research. There's not just LASIK, there's LASIK also, if you're interested in that or eligible for that. Yeah, I'll, I'll put in the description exactly what LASIK is. And there's a bunch of other videos where it's just like, there's like different procedures like LASIK, LASIK, the the internal lens procedure as well which is really expensive but if you want to fix your vision you know have there's plenty of ways out there like luckily we live in a century where we have so much access to technology but also depends on you know how what country you're in if you have if you are able to afford it if you're able to have the time time is a big part of it too right yeah if you have any questions about my procedure about like my doctor or like where I went you know put in the comments below I'll have another video following up about 
my exact process of recovery, how it's going, any tips or tricks that I can come up with during my process. So yeah, stay tuned and yeah, thanks for watching.